What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, got a bunch of fight predictions to put out. So, I'm going to start with the easier ones. I already put out the Marquez versus Alvarado, which is coming up this week. That was pretty easy to make. And so is Sergio Martinez versus Miguel Cotto. There's some other ones that are more challenging for me. Canelo Laura, because I see that being a 50-50 fight. Even Carl Froch versus George Groves, too. There's a lot of variables that I want to consider. I want to rewatch the first one. As far as Martinez and Cotto, I see this as being... A fairly easy fight for me to pick and I have Martinez winning possibly by a late rounds TKO I know Miguel Cotto's game he has the advantage of the location it's taking place in Cotto's second home of New York a lot of Puerto Ricans there a lot of Dominicans and different people that will come out to support Cotto who has fought there previously and um, knows how to pack a house he puts ass in the seats I like Miguel Cotto always have I think his partnership with Freddie Roach, Freddie Roach is trying to bring out some of the things that made Cotto ferocious earlier in his career, like the body punching. And we've seen that in display in the fight with Delvin Rodriguez. Big difference is Delvin Rodriguez is no Sergio Martinez. Martinez is bigger. Cotto's going up in weight, even though they're fighting at a catch weight. Cotto had a bunch of quote unquote diva demands, according to Sergio Martinez. I think Martinez is the type of fighter who is very machismo. He doesn't like being insulted. He feels underrated and feels underappreciated for what he's given in the sport. And I would agree. I don't think a lot of people rate Martinez where he should be. And he's given us great performance. Even his first fight with Paul Williams was a great fight. Um, he came back and in a close fight, Paul Williams and Sergio Martinez. And he leveled Paul Williams. And Paul Williams is my dude. But he just, just the second round, he just obliterated him. So he's given us those fights, the Kermit Centrons, Kelly Pavlik, just great performances that he's given us. And a lot of people still don't have Sergio Martinez where they should be under his radar. However, they're quick to bring up Sergio Martinez hasn't looked excellent in recent fights. He's been troubled by Darren Barker, troubled by Macklin, troubled by Julio Chavez, uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. in that 12th round only. And Martin Murray, same thing. But I think the difference maker is, one, the weight. I see Sergio being too big for Cotto. I don't even think Cotto was at his best at 154. You could say, oh, he looked good against Mayweather, but Mayweather's not a true 154-pounder in my uh, opinion. You've seen the Mayweather versus Maidana fight. Maidana rehydrated to 165 pounds or whatnot on fight night, and Mayweather went up to 148, I think it was, on fight night. So... Floyd Mayweather's not the biggest dude, just like Pacquiao's not the biggest dude at welterweight. Not necessarily full-fledged, but guys like that get away with beating other welterweights or people at 54 based on pure skill and their ability and their, their wisdom and whatnot. But when you talk about Sergio Martinez versus Cotto, I just don't see how Cotto's going to win. Cotto looked good. He looked ferocious against Delvin Rodriguez, but Rodriguez, that was just what it was it was a tune-up fight with a new coach and he blew through him which is good but Rodriguez was not a world beater to me Austin Trout beat him and then we seen Austin Trout had a tough fight with Canelo got hurt um he got outboxed and hurt in the fight with Edis Lani Laura he gave Miguel Cotto problems and this is something important a lot of people talk about Cotto's last performance against Delvin Rodriguez again where do you rate Delvin Rodriguez how many fights have you seen Delvin Rodriguez and when does he look great? Who's he beat? Type type of attitude. Then you look at Austin Trout. Austin Trout went into New York, Cotto's backyard, and he he beat Cotto. And you look at it. What did Cotto bring to the table? What did Austin Trout bring to the table? Austin Trout's a southpaw. He's pretty slippery, crafty. Um, he had some momentum. He was undefeated, and he's a southpaw. Just a slick overall fighter. Now you look at Sergio Martinez, he is what Austin Trout is, but cubed. He, he's he's like a souped up version of Austin Trout. He can crack and he hits harder than Austin Trout, in my opinion. And he has more experience at a pro level than Austin Trout, in my opinion. And he has more significant wins than Austin Trout had. So to me, you couldn't beat Trout convincingly. And you could say, oh, it was because of trainer. But I'm not one of those people that believe that a fighter loses solely based on, on a trainer. I mean, you're the one fighting. 
and Kodo really didn't make the adjustments. So now you mean to tell me Kodo is going to go up in weight and fight Sergio Martinez close to 160 at a catch weight and and beat him? Now it could happen, but the reason I think if it did happen, I think they're banking on the fact that Sergio Martinez has not looked great in his recent performances. But I don't I don't make my predictions and judge fights based on a fighter possibly being injured, possibly not being the same fighter, possibly being wounded. And again, I think Sergio Martinez is a very prideful person from Argentina, and he has tons of heart. He showed you that in the 12th round. He should have tied up and clinched Chavez Jr., but instead he decided to bang it out, and if he was going to get knocked out, he was going to get knocked out and go out on, out on a shield. And he made a statement in the face-off. He, he said, you're not going to recognize your son's face talking to the legend Chavez Sr., and he pretty much made good with that that promise. Chavez Jr.'s face looked pretty beat up. And for 11 and a half rounds, he beat up on Chavez Jr. And Sergio Martinez, to me, is used to fighting bigger guys. So having someone come up, I just don't see how Cotto's going to do it. Again, he struggled with Austin Trout. You have a, a more advanced model. It's like the Terminator series. You look at the old T-800 or whatever Arnold was. And then you looked at the T-1000. He can turn into liquid metal. And that's what Austin Trout to Sergio Martinez is. Sergio Martinez, to me, is a more souped-up version of Austin Trout. More power, more pro-level experience, even though he started boxing late. So I don't see how Cotto's going to pull it off. And again, I don't base my predictions based on the worst possible Sergio Martinez. The Sergio that, in my opinion, got knocked down twice by Martin Murray. They only counted one, but to me it was two. And I thought Martin Murray should have won that fight. But again, I'm not going off of the worst possible Sergio Martinez and hoping his injuries show up in the fight. You have to go off the best possible Sergio Martinez. And if that shows up, he gave himself a year off to rest and recuperate, which is the longest of his career that I can remember in recent memory. So he has plenty of time to um, recuperate. It could have an adverse effect if he has ring rust. We don't know. We will see. But I'm, I'm looking forward towards the the Sergio that gave a tough fight to Paul Williams both times. The Sergio that showed up against Kelly Pavlik. And even in his in his um, darkest hour, if you will, Sergio Martinez, he almost got knocked out by Chavez Jr. But guess what? He didn't. He got knocked down, I think, by Darren Barker and Matthew Macklin. But guess what? He went on to stop both of those guys in the 11th round. So, I mean... It's still a win. Like People act like these fighters are invincible. They're not invincible. It's, it's what you do when you face adversity. Just like the Mayweather Maidana. Some people are like, oh, Mayweather Maidana, Maidana won. Like This is what you wanted. You wanted Floyd to fight adversity, and he did. He fought the cut and um, the bull rush of Maidana, a power puncher, and he went on to win the fight. So I think Sergio shows that as well. Like Even people highlight the Martin Murray or the Darren Barker fight, but he won those fights, even if you don't agree with it. Um, and, I mean, you can't really disagree with Barker or Macklin because he stopped those dudes. But even the Martin Murray fight, I think he should have lost that fight, but the judges seemed different. He was at home, and it is what it is. So I have Martinez winning probably by stoppage via, I mean, Cotto's tough. So via nine, round nine through 11, I would say. I just think getting hit by a bigger person who's used to fighting bigger guys. He's a southpaw. We know he has good lateral movement. And it looks like he wants to get up for this fight. He wants to um, prove. Like, he has his animosity for Cotto, and he's had it for some while. I guess Cotto is a prima donna and disrespected him at some TV show. So I just see Sergio Martinez just beating Cotto. I just don't see how Cotto is going to pull it off. Again, it's possible if the Martinez doesn't look the same, but I'm not going to make my prediction based on a half-assed version of Martinez. I'm going to consider both fighters are coming to bring their best, and if that is the case, I just see Martinez being too big, too crafty, too experienced, and Miguel Cotto, although I like him, bite it off more than he can true chew. Um, Martinez is going to use movement, I imagine. Cotto would just have to cut off the ring exceptionally, and go to the body, dig to the body, slow him down, and really hurt. Like, And again, I haven't seen, to me, Cotto hasn't looked his best at 54, so going up even more weight, 
I just don't see how he's going to get it done. Let me know what you guys think. Martinez versus Cotto. I'm looking forward to a good fight. There are some factors. Freddie Roach is training Cotto. So maybe they come out with a crazy game plan. Um, Cotto is a good body puncher when he stays disciplined and he stays to it. Another thing that I've noticed with Cotto, more or less in recent memory, he seems to fade in the stretch. Whereas Sergio Martinez, to me, is capable of going 12 rounds with no problem. Even at his age of 40 or 38 or whatever age Martinez is, Cotto seems like to get a little bit dry and uh, fatigued in the later rounds. If you watch the fight with Margarito, the rematch, Margarito, luckily Pacquiao fucked his eye up so much that Cotto just had to put in the work and, and investment early and Margarito's eye was done. But it looked like Margarito had weathered the storm and had the doctor not um, stop that fight. Margarito might have come on and had a second win. We never know now because the fight was stopped, but it looked like Cotto was slowing down from using so much movement and boxing, trying to keep Margarito, granite chin ass, off of him. The same thing with the fight with Cotto and Mayweather. He was looking good. Um, he stole some of those mid rounds and had Floyd Mayweather bloody. But if you look at like the 11th, I think in the 12th round, it looked like Mayweather might have stopped him in the 12th round. He just didn't look like the same fighter, he didn't look as fresh. So going in against a guy that we know can go 12 rounds, has the stamina, um, doesn't. Another thing I like about Sergio Martinez, he doesn't have like this nervous movement. Some people move and they exert a lot of energy, but it's like a waste of energy. They're not using, they're not, they're moving unnecessarily and then that burns up energy, especially when you're getting punched. So Sergio Martinez, late round, TKO. I don't know if he'll knock him out cold, but I can picture a stoppage. Um, either by the corner or whatnot, or the ref. Let me know what you guys think. Hope, hoping it is a good fight, and maybe Cotto can prove me wrong. This is just how I see it. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, is Ego signing off. <laughs>